Here at the Daily Mix, we love to eat, and one place brought us all to tears today. Just seeing their food on TV. It's Dickie's, and I talked with Laura Ray Dickey and Chef Phil about their potato salad. Well, I'll tell you, the best comfort food to have at home, that's barbecue. And we're talking to the masters of barbecue from Dallas, Texas. It is Laura Ray Dickey and Chef Phil. You two have a place in my heart right now because I need comfort food. And I know a lot of people out there do it. And you guys are sharing some recipes for people. But let's first talk about, of course, Dickey's. It's famous all over Texas. It is, thank you so much. In fact, we have 18 locations in the Phoenix area too, but we were born here in Dallas, Texas in 1941. We're actually standing in our original location and we have been open and operating here in Dallas in this very building since 1941. Never shuttered, never changed ownership, and we still have the pit going that we started with in 1941. So we've been doing barbecue over Hickory Wood for a long time. Yeah, let's talk about, of course, having to make some changes to, of course, the way that you serve the community, but you're still serving the community, right, Laura Ray? Absolutely. Uh, it's been a big shift because we are used to having folks in our dining room, and now they are online. So we have a wonderful parking lot full of folks that line up and wait for our barbecue, uh, but it's a little different. It used to be where they'd come in and talk to our pit master, and we'd talk about what they uh, want chopped or sliced or all the great things that Chef does, uh, but instead they can order it online and we take it out to them. So we just, but the barbecue stays the same. So, all right, Chef, it is Easter coming up, and I want to have something different for the table. You got a great idea, don't you? Yeah, actually, one of the recipes from Mr. Dickey's cookbook, one of my favorites, dill potato salad. Growing up as a kid, that was probably one of my favorites. And actually, I heard another story today oh. about potato salad. It was big in the Dickey household because uh, the, our, my husband and his brother always tried to get that to count as the vegetable, right? Potato salad, so that should count. And we serve original mustard base in the stores, but Chef has a great family recipe, again, from our cookbook, but it's dill potato salad. And we start with a pretty easy base, easy to make at home. Yep. Super simple, I'm gonna go through this. Uh, mayonnaise, sour cream, a little bit of parsley, uh, potatoes that I cooked, took the skins off of that. I've got salt, pepper, and a little bit of dill. Salt and pepper, that's all we put on our brisket. It's got great flavor, why not just put on our potato salad, eggs, celery, and yellow onion. And then mix that together, and that's potato salad. It doesn't get any easier than that. And Chef is a great cook. I am not, but even I can do this recipe because it's very easy. You just mix and pour, and then it's perfect. It's ready to go. You can chill it, make it a little bit ahead, but it has that great dill flavor to it. So it makes it a little bit unique for potato salad. Um, but also, since we're probably, most folks are doing dinner a little differently, or maybe that Easter table will be a virtual gathering, um, you probably want to make your food Instagram worthy, right? That's a new thing. Um, so make it look good on camera for all the family you're sharing it with. So Chef's going to plate up what we would consider, um, you know, that Instagram worthy Texas barbecue board. Oh. So you anchor it with that potato salad, you of course have your pickles and onions, and then you're just going to stack your meat around. And Chef started with our uh, St. Louis style pulled uh, ribs, and they're fall off the bone. You can always tell, even at home, when a rib is ready, because you're going to bounce it in the middle, and it should just fall apart. Not crumble, but fall apart. And then you have perfect ribs. And then it's perfect add in brisket. So you can see, you know when your brisket at home is done perfectly, because you have this great bark, right, Chef? And you can see the smoke it's ring. Yeah, you get the smoke ring from the, uh, the hickory smoke and a great bark. And again, like I said, it's just salt and pepper, nothing crazy on the outside of it. Uh, the smoke in the pit does all the work. And, uh, and then lastly, we slice it up. Make that present really well. And this is how you take an Instagram shot. Make the, make the people at home jealous uh, that they're not enjoying this. Um, but yeah, really nice sliced, sliced brisket. Our jalapeno cheddar sausage, amazing. Uh, I see him crying. We'll, we'll, we'll put this in a box. Oh, it's just beautiful. I don't know. I, I'm just, okay, do you ship? Can I get this shipped to me? <laughs> You can. We actually do sell our foods online, but you do have some stores close to you in the market, and they all have these same family recipes. So while we've changed, and we've certainly changed a lot in the past couple weeks in how we're doing business, the food stayed the same. It's all smoked on site over at Hickory Pit and all of our locations, and while we hope you get it from us, 
there's a lot you can do at home with great barbecue because as you said, it's comfort food. It makes everybody feel good. So, you know, try a little twist on Easter. Maybe barbecue it. I always hear folks, the hardest thing about barbecue is to leave it alone on the pit. Let it smoke. That's probably the secret to good barbecue. You're looking at April. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Shafa and Lore, thank you guys very much. You just made my this, you, you made my day. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna go out and find some. Thank you. We appreciate it.